right, this is a video on how I record settings for YouTube. As I keep getting a lot of messages on how you do it. So at first you'll be needing Pinnacle Studio Ultimate 12. Once you've got that to capture, you click on capture, obvious. Now the preset of this, you can see the sharpness. Now this is going to sound weird to people. Look, you see the little dots. Make sure it's three, three little dots up and leave the rest preset. That's what I've done anyway. Then click on settings. Capture source. Make sure it's your dazzle. If you live in America, NTSC. If you live in Europe, it's PAL. If you want to record in PAL 60 to record Modern Warfare 2, you need NTSC and AMCAP, but you can look that up on YouTube. Best aspect ratio 69. Capture preview, disable it. No auto, no auto scene detection. Click that. Capture format. Right, this is the best. MPEG 1, 2. You could just click high quality, but I prefer to do it custom and run the data rate at 8. 8,000 8, I prefer to do custom and do that leave everything the same and just put that to oh for god's sake 8,000 there it's done it leave that exactly the same how it's set up then you go to project preferences click on project format NTSC progressive widescreen and then video and audio if you're going to do a voice commentary like I sometimes do so you need to pick your microphone here and then over here it says background rendering click the little dot here that says use this codec or codec or however you pronounce it click mpeg2 for best output to disk you can, you can, you can enable discrete 5.1 surround sounds but it's up to you it does nothing at all Right, the dazzle ain't plugged in, obviously, because the screen's black. But you click Start Capture, you'd get the idea. Then you'd um, go on here and find a video. Right, basically, when you've got your clip, you'll see it has... it. You don't, basically right click it click properties go to this little icon here and it'll say scale and crop click full screen then click on the crop button you can see the black around the edge with the line on it basically what you want to do is get rid of the black so crop it a bit oh. And then click scale. Right, it's slowing down a bit because I'm recording. But once you've cropped it, click scale. And then drag it into the window. So it fits fuller. And that's how you get rid of the black lines when you're recording in PAL 6 stage. Now you can see on the video, the lines have gone. quality is overall better as well no more lines better screen quality once you've made your movie you go to make movie right you can edit with these a bit depending on how you want to upload the best one I found is either mpeg 2's ok HD 720p or DVD this renders quick but the quality is not brilliant if you go on Windows Media the best one for if you want a high speed upload and medium ish quality is high quality NTSC or PAL if you haven't changed the settings properly whatever's there that's alright for upload to YouTube and the quality is iffy a bit if you want to make it look HD when it's not actually the HD V720 60p 1280 by 720 and once that one's done leave it at that create file let it render and then you upload to youtube so thanks for watching and remember to comment rate subscribe and hope this stops all the questions of how i record so bye